in the in, on the positive side what they're doing in terms of uh, particularly Google in terms of your driving right and in terms of using of Google Maps and documenting the history of all these people driving and especially with things like Waze which they acquired as they've developed a much more efficient product than Apple which what Apple does with Apple Maps they shred everything you do yes they do they do they all they where you've been and where you're privacy. going that's correct but Apple Maps sucks so you have to because they don't have enough data they don't have nearly the amount of data Google has billions what is do Google giving you that Apple Maps isn't they're telling you you're 22 minutes from home you, time for you to drive home well, is, are a, you valuing that well yes and also it's no, just a I, better okay. map wait, wait hold their, on their programs far better I can ask it how long it'll take me to go somewhere rather than it knowing what my what my daytime schedule looks like and then coming in like you said how do you know bitch you know mm -hmm. I had that same reaction as you did and I said I wonder what what's causing this it's a little creepy and again I'm the old man syndrome some a 10 year old kid that's only ever known this and becomes 15 and 20 that is life to them mm -hmm. right why would they even maybe they're not going to complain about it but I'm the old man on the porch but do you and I'm saying it off my lawn. This sort of intrusiveness, or at the very least, this connection that you have to these devices, and that they have to your patterns and your information, it seems inevitable. 